สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับโอเค guess what day it is kiddies time to adjust the uh, camera video phone whatever uh, today is the last day this is gonna be reading paragraph <laughs> number 365 so We must have, it's June 16th today, so we must have started on June 17th. I knew it was somewhere around the middle of the month. I wasn't sure the exact date. So I'm going to read today, and that's going to be it. This is the end. It's 365 meditations, and this is number 365. Ta-da! Now, if I had skills, I would have, like, balloons blowing up or fanfare or whatever, but I have no skills. Just going to read. June 16th. Just what are you waiting for and why are you waiting? There you go. I, I like it. It's a good way to end it. Like, you've heard this stuff for a year, solid now. Like, what have you done? What have you done with the information? If the answer is nothing, uh, right? Okay. Accountability, and including to yourself, which is good. Far too many people spend their entire lives waiting for that glorious day when the perfect opportunity presents itself to them. Too late, they realize that each day held opportunity for those who sought it out. If, you're, if you have not formulated a plan for what you'd like to accomplish in your life, don't waste another minute. When you have definiteness of purpose, fueled by a burning desire to reach your objectives, nothing can stand in your way. Don't wait around waiting for life to happen to you. When you know what you want and how you expect to earn it, life will agree to your terms, not the other way around. There you go. Killer. What are you waiting for? <laughs> That's, he sums it up. I couldn't have asked for a better paragraph to end it on. That is awesome. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys got something out of it. I really do. Um, I enjoyed reading it. I enjoyed learning along with you. And, and when I say learning, a lot of the points, obviously, I, had, I was familiar with through other avenues, other books I had read or whatever, life experiences. But, um, you know, it was good to reinforce the you know, material, uh, see it, hear about it in different ways, different perspectives, different angles. Um, so I learned too. And, and that happens a lot. When you, when you give back and when you teach, you learn uh, as much, if not more, than the students. So I, I learned a ton over the last year. And I hope you guys did too. Um, if one person, you know, gets inspired by what I just did for the last year, it was absolutely worth it. You know, even though when I, when I traveled and everything, when I was in Pai and I come down to Chiang Mai, got to remember the book and, you know, um, you know, this morning, obviously I had, I had, you can, she made the bed <laughs> before she left. Thai women are so cool. Like, I can't even tell you, she, she made the freaking bed, you know, this morning while I was showered. So, um, you know, I dropped her off early this morning, like seven something, seven thirty. It's, well, it's almost nine now, quarter to nine. So, uh, had my breakfast, uh, egg, ham and cheese sandwich. I took a break from the oatmeal and fruit today. The eggs are here are different too. Learning a little bit about Thailand through through this channel, there's something they grade them zero, one, two, and then just mixed. So I go for the zeros, the big boys, jumbo in the states, jumbo eggs. There's medium, large, and jumbo is kind of the same as zero, one, and two. So they're big motherfuckers. That's a, I mean, it's a jumbo, jumbo egg. And they have this really good bread. It's like wheat, and I know it's. Great. I used to eat Wonder Bread all the friggin' time, and, and, and actually sourdough is my favorite. But I'd eat regular bread all the time when I was in the states because everybody does. Um, but here I'm trying to be healthier, so it's a whole wheat bread with uh, flax seed and oats. So uh, it sounds terrible, but it's actually okay. It tastes all right, and it's big. It's like pretty long. It fills up my whole toaster sideways but the top one end and the bottom down here and in the toaster and these eggs cover it they cover the ground you know one slice of cheese which doesn't cover the toast one slice of ham which doesn't cover the toast but it covers the cheese and melts it and then, you know between the toasted bread and the hot ham I cook on the skittle that melts the cheese it's trapped between those two and then I put the fried egg on top and these eggs cover that entire piece of bread they're big ass jumbo eggs and they're still cheap as hell it's like 772 baht so seven baht 
Uh, I don't even know what that is at the exchange rate. Thirty-one baht to a dollar, so you can figure it out. But for I mean for jumbo eggs, so you know I splurged, and you know it goes well. You saw they were brown, and they're like whatever, organic, fresh. And, you know, they've still got some chicken shit on them, you know, which is disgusting, but it means they're fresh. That's so like, if you've ever gotten eggs from a farm, you know, they're not clean, they're not processed. So you see, I'm looking for one, the one I did this morning, this one just has a couple little marks on it. But I mean, you'll, you'll see chicken shit <laughs> on the eggs. <laughs> and if you ever get them farm fresh, it's, that's what they look like. So they're good eggs, they're jumbo eggs, and they're, they're dirt cheap like everything else here. Um... What else? Last day. Yeah, let's get back to the thing. What are you waiting for? Um, I, I talked at least once throughout this thing about a trigger and, and how I've seen people in the mortgage protection business where, where I went broke, you know, in three years. Um, made no money. Well, $4,000 I made one year. The last year I was in it had a, a bad year and I had quit my job to do that. So that was a huge mistake. And I knew a lady in there who's Colombian and she was living with her husband up in Jacksonville and she was struggling. I mean she tried, she made an effort, she was working the system, working the plan, she just wasn't selling insurance, it wasn't working for her. And then uh, her husband decided to move to Miami, back to Miami, they were from Miami originally, were living in Jacksonville for a couple of years and they moved back to Miami. Now Miami has a lot of Spanish speakers and my mother was again, she's a Colombian lady, great lady, fantastic personality, everybody's in love with her, Olga. And uh, I knew her through Mark Marcellus, um, which he, I was working with him in the mortgage protection and so was Olga and her husband, Jason. And when she went down to Miami, like a switch just flipped and she started tearing it up. I mean, it wasn't just that there's Spanish speakers there. It just, it, it, the lights came on after a year of very little success and to the point where she took a full-time job at one point because she wasn't making any money, just like I wasn't making any money. It really, you know, came on and, and, and she did so well in the business that her husband quit his job and, and started working on the recruiting side and building a team, which is part of the way you made money in that business. You sold insurance, but you also hired other people to sell insurance, like a real estate broker. Um, some people say it's a pyramid scam, but really it's overrides, just like a real estate broker gets overrides on their agents. The insurance, a the insurance agency owner gets overrides on their insurance agents. So he built the team, she kept selling tons of insurance, and they you know, became top producers in the company. So there's that one thing, there's that one moment, that one trigger, something hit her, and the lights came on and she turned everything around. She went from not being successful to being very successful. So that's in you too. You just need to find your trigger. And the idea was I hoped that one of the 365 paragraphs was that trigger for somebody or multiple people would be awesome. Uh, and I also mentioned other resources. I encourage you read. Don't just listen to this, but listen to other blogs, read other books, listen to books on audio in your car, keep educating yourself because you never know when you're going to find that trigger that turns you from zero to hero, right? That gets you where you want to go and helps you meet your goals. So that's it. Um, I'm, I'm wrapping it up. This is the last positive action plan. I've enjoyed doing it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going to be next. The purpose of the channel was to stay in touch with my friends back in America, let them know what I'm doing. I'll continue to do that as far as Great White Buddha. It's just this um, playlist, YouTube calls it, is going to end, you know, today. But obviously the channel is going to move forward and, you know, like I talked about the eggs or whatever. Just simple things, little different things here in Thailand. I, I do that on the channel. So, I know. if you're interested, you know, great. Um, I will say that I enjoy doing this so much that I have ordered another book, a uh, different book. And when that comes, which was also uh, impactful to me, Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich had a big impact. So when I saw this one, when that, the expat was moving back to Great Britain and sold it, I bought it. Um, but this other book is another author and, an, and a, the actual book um, is one that had a big impact on me. And, and I would say it would be one of the major um, books that's responsible for, for my success that, that, that had an impact on me 
that directly related to me being more successful than I was before I read it. So uh, when that comes, maybe I'll, I'll read a little bit from that. Now that's not broken down at the 365 <laughs> meditation, so I don't I'll have to figure out how I would do that, but I might start a new a new series also, uh, you know, on, once again, self-improvement, um, being successful. So keep your eye on the channel if you're whatever subscribed, notification, bell thing. Uh, it should tell you when I put up a new video. And once again, it will be a totally different um, playlist than life in Thailand, eating in Thailand, flipping cars, or positive action play, obviously. It's been real, folks. Talk to you later.